Hi, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can create a series of images with varying exposure so that you can later create an HDR image. Now I have Control My Nikon version 4 started here. We're going to connect to my D7000. I've got the image browser up, so we'll take a look at the images as they're being captured. And I'll go up to the trigger menu and to bracketing. And Here's the bracketing window right here. I'm just going to set it right here. Now, when we bracket, we can use these three options up top. We can take a series of images with differing shutter speeds, and you have to be in shutter or manual mode for that. Or at the bottom here, you can have a series of images of variable exposure compensation. Need to be in aperture mode for that. And we just threw in a different feature here where you could take a series of images and adjust the aperture. This of course would change the exposure but also changes the depth of field. So you can use that to do some different kind of effects on your final image. Well, let's give this first option a try. And on this first one we're just going to try a series of images on a test subject. And I'm going to start off at uh, 120 and you just double click here and it brings it over. And I'll do another one at 140. Now you could double click or just Press this button and it brings it over. And I'll also do one at 180. Now you can have as many as you like here. You know, if you want to have 10 or 15 shots, you can do that. Now, if you wanted to change the order of these, you just press the up button, or you can also bring it downwards with the down button. So let's give these a try. Now at the start, we just press the start button. And then anytime you could click on stop here, it'll cancel it. Now you can see it created this folder. And here's our three images. And we started off at 120, 140, then 180. So here's our 120. We look at the metadata, 120, 140, and 180. And they progressively got darker. So now you can go into some third-party software and combine these three images to produce an HDR image. And Control My Icon does not have the ability to create an HDR image. You need to use external software for that. Let's add some more. Let's say we also want a 125, and we'll go a little darker. The last one's 120, we'll go 110, except I'll bring my 110 up here. Okay, this time we do five. Let's take a shot. I could see that this brought us five images. The first one starting at 110, the last one going to 125, just like we had set it up here, progressively going from lighter to darker. Now you can look at the histogram here to ensure that you have enough coverage. So for example, on this one, you wanna make sure on your lightest image that you don't have anything that is completely blown out black, so, and you don't, so that's a good start. You have nothing here. So as we progress upwards, you wanna look at your last image and make sure you have nothing blown out white. And you have something just a touch blown out white. It's probably one pixel right in the center here, but that should be okay. This is really just a reflection from the studio lighting on this glass bulb. This series of images would be acceptable if there wasn't any movement for doing an HDR image. And that's it. That's how you do bracketing in Control My Icon. Happy tethering.